This is Pug. At 160 kilometers across, it's the largest inner moon of Uranus, orbiting the turquoise gas giants at 86,000 kilometers. Like most of the other inner moons of Uranus, Puck was discovered in images taken by Voyager 2. What's unique about Puck, though, is that it was discovered early enough to slightly alter Voyager 2's flight path, allowing the probe to fly up close to the moon. On the 29th of December 1985, when Voyager 2 was 34 million kilometers away from Uranus, it captured these images of what we now know to be Puck moving around the planet. Fast forward almost a month, and Voyager 2 flew within half a million kilometers of Puck, snapping this single image. Now this grainy, slightly out of focus photo may not look all that impressive at first, however, there is a lot we can infer from just this one image. Enhance. For starters, there's several large impact craters on the Pachean surface, which tells us that the moon is quite old, potentially billions of years. Secondly, there's no rays coming out of the craters. What is a crater ray? They're streaks of lighter material leading away from an impact. They come from debris excavated from a crater thrown around the impact site in all directions. The more recent an impact, the brighter the rays. This is because they haven't been exposed to a lot of space weathering, which darkens the surface over time. One of the best examples of crater rays comes from the Tycho crater found on our own moon, where rays from this recent impact stretch for thousands of kilometers across the surface. Now there's three explanations for the lack of craters on Puck. Number one, the impacts happened a long time ago, and the rays have been darkened by space weathering. This would mean that Puck has been around for a long time. Number two, dust from the nearby rings of Uranus is constantly coating the surface, masking the crater rays. This abundance of dust most likely comes from impacts, both big and small, on the inner moons. This means there's been a lot of destruction in the inner moon system. And number three, there were no crater rays to begin with. Because Puck is so small, it probably hasn't separated into a core, mantle, and crust, and instead is one big ball of rocky ice, kinda like the dirty snow you'd find under a car. So when something smacks into Puck, all the debris is roughly the same color, meaning there's no crater rays. But there doesn't have to be just one explanation for the lack of rays, and it could be a combination of all three mentioned so far. Ultimately, the rayless craters tell us that Puck is an old moon in a dusty system. In fact, there's a chance that Puck is as old as Uranus itself, forming from the same protoplanetary disk that the five major moons originated from. The main origin theory for the rings and inner moons of Uranus proposes that there was once several Puck-sized moons orbiting close to the gas giant. Shortly after these moons had formed, they were obliterated by comets which broke apart the moons, creating lots of dust and debris. Puck, however, avoided all these impacts and remained intact. Over time, the debris from the smashed up moons coalesced into the inner moons we see today, and also left behind a lot of dust that grouped into the rings. However, recent studies of the moons and rings using the Hubble telescope suggest that the inner moon system is quite young, and also dynamically unstable, meaning some of the moons may collide into each other within a few million years. Planetary rings don't last forever, so something is replenishing the dust in the ring system. It's most likely to be dust from micro-impacts, tiny asteroids that constantly bombard the moons, kicking dust up into space. But another major dust contributor would be a moon-comet collision that destroyed a moon, creating an abundance of dust. The problem is, we don't have high-resolution images of the other inner Uranian moons. Therefore, we can't see if there's any craters on them, making it harder to determine their age. Remember, Older surfaces have more craters, and that's what makes Puck so unique. We have these high resolution images of the surface, and we can see the craters, so we know it's old. And this heavily cratered old boy has survived many a catastrophic event that destroyed its fellow moon brethren. Does this make Puck a noble warrior? Or perhaps it's managed to escape the more deadly combat like a wily trickster? The latter would be more appropriate, as Puck is named after a mischievous sprite from Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. In fact, even the craters on Puck are named after Trixie spirits from different European folklore. Are there any more craters on Puck that could be named? And are there craters on the other inner moons of Uranus? Almost certainly, yes. But we won't know for sure until we return to this fascinating moon system. <laughs>